Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about when uh, you execute uh, SQL query in Hibernate, uh, then sometimes uh, how you can map uh, return which is re uh, which is returned by the execution of this SQL query with some DTO. When we say DTO means I am talking about the data transfer object right sometimes dto is also referred to as view value object so here you can see saying that this point number 17.7 .7, returning dto's data transfer objects it is possible to apply the result transformer to native sql queries allowing it to return non-managed entities non-managed entities means entities which is not managed by the hibernate right so here you have a like person summary DTO right and this is not an entity class so this is not managed by the hibernate and this DTO is having a two fields ID and name and corresponding public set getter method right now you have a person entity class so you can write a SQL query like this uh, here basically we are selecting a name ID and name uh, from person and this ID and name we would like to uh, map with this DTO so we will have to call set result transformer and transformers transformers dot alias to bin and here we will have to pass the DTO class and once you call the list method this will return you the list of uh, person summary DTOs right and uh, here saying that our query will return a list of person summary DTO which has been instantiated and injected the values of ID and name into its corresponding properties or fields. So here I have created a project. Here you can see we have a person entity class which is you can say that this is managed and managed uh, entity class and we have a in another package com.infotech.dto I have created a person summary DTO which contains two fields ID and name and corresponding public setter getter method and I have overridden two testing method. Now here you have a one class right a client class there I have created a session I wanted session I have created two person object and just I am saving into the database. So once you run this app class then this will save uh, two records into the person table. So that this class already I have ran so my database table contains two records person table contains two records now hibernate native sql query client test i have written this uh, sql query so here i am selecting uh, id and name from person entity class so this is a person entity class and now uh, now this is a this is a basically your uh, sql now i have called set result transformer and just I'm trying to map read, map uh, this result with this DTO and uh, once you call the list method this will return the list of a person summary DTOs and just I'm iterating this DTO and trying to print here I have overridden two string method in person summary DTO so this will print the state of object into nice format right here you can see set result transformer showing a deprecated so if you, you are using Hibernate 4 this in that case that is not that will not show you deprecated but in hibernate 5 here we are using hibernate 5 so if you go to the hibernate uh, sorry uh, pom.xml you can see i have given the hibernate latest version uh, 5 to 12 that's the latest version of hibernate so hibernate 5 uh, set result transformer is almost deprecated so it's not uh, it's, it's only deprecated so that will show you only warning right still you can use in hibernate uh, uh, 5 so deprecated means uh, i mean this api is showing that uh, strike out right saying that this is deprecated so uh, that is basically trying to say don't use this api which, because this is already deprecated from hibernate 5 there is possibility in next version they may remove it so use alternative one but if you go to the hibernate documentation they haven't suggested any uh, equivalent uh, alternative choice 
so still if you would like to use this then uh, this will show you the warning but still you can go forward so if i run this application then currently there are two records in our person table and id and name is getting fetched and here you can see id and name you are printing over here and you can see the sql query that is basically selecting id and name so that's all i wanted to talk i wanted to cover in this video tutorial so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, so here if you have uh, any kind of sql query you can create a corresponding dto's and you can map easily like this so here uh, when you write any dto then make sure that what variable name you are specifying over here that should match with your variable name what you declare over here so these things should be same then only hibernate will be able to map your uh, results with the dto's right so these things we will have to keep in mind so thanks for watching this video and this code i am going to put on the github and github location you will get in the video description itself so see you next video tutorial